Hey, good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I just kicked my trash can. <laughs> good morning. All right, let me see. I want to make sure I'm actually on Facebook. Okay, good morning. It's Thursday morning. It's Q&A day. Yay. Okay, so if you're not in um, Power Bookkeeper Network and Bookkeeper Training School, um, Thursday is our live call day. And so we're having our live call at 2 o'clock. I'm so excited. I love live call day. Um, because it's really an opportunity for me to, you know, to help our students on the calls. Um, and it's a, it's a great opportunity to connect. I know during COVID, I really, really need that connection piece. Um, and so it's awesome. So I really look forward to Thursday afternoons. Um, all right. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about putting yourself out there. Okay. When you're, when you're in business and I know for a lot of you, that is, that's kind of scary to put yourself out there. Um, you know, I have a lot of people approach me and say, I'm an introvert. Um, you know, I can't do this. Um, but they don't realize that a lot of the interaction is not, you know, one to many, it's one to one. And, um, a lot of it is done through, you know, through posting, through text messages or direct messages, through LinkedIn messages, through emails. Um, you know, very little of what I do is actually getting on calls with potential clients or, um, or existing clients. And so I think that that's really important. But, you know, the thing that I keep coming back to with my students and I'm starting to see them um, really branch out and really, um, really kind of open up. So we have this new tool, um, and we're not, it's not in the training yet. Those of you that have gone through the free training, um, we don't talk about this in the free training. Um, we just released something new that's called the pre-launch marketing plan. And, um, and it's a bonus that comes with bookkeeper training school. And what it is, is it is, it is 30 days of social media ideas for you to post before, you know, before you're really ready for clients. Um, the analogy that I go back to always is, you know, if you're, if you're opening a restaurant, you're not going to wait until the day you open for business to start talking about your restaurant or else you're not going to have anybody there. Um, you know, you've got to do all of the the social and the promo beforehand so that people will know when you're planning to open so they can be there for that right and that's that's what this what this pre-launch marketing plan does for you so one of the things um that i keep coming back to is that you are going to miss out on a hundred percent of the opportunities you do not seek out and what i mean by that is if you do not, you know, if you don't tell people you have a business, right, then you can't expect them to support you. If you don't keep them in the loop on what you're doing, you can't expect them to support you. If you don't tell anybody that your business exists, then how are people supposed to find you? And I understand, you know, there's a conventional wisdom, you put up a Facebook page, you know, you put up, you know, eventually you put up a website. We don't do websites right away in bookkeeper training school. We wait a little bit. Um, because what we're doing is we're getting clients through relationships, right? And so when you think about, you know, the businesses that are in your town, right? Or the businesses that you interact with online, um, those are the best potential clients. Right. So when you're out and about and you see all these small businesses around that you, you know, maybe you get your coffee at a local coffee shop. Um, you know, maybe there's a local bookstore that you interact with. Um, you know, you might have a local insurance person or a financial planner that you work with. Um, those are all small businesses, right? And they are, they are potential client leads. But unless you go out and you tell people like, Hey, I'm starting a business and you know i'm looking for new clients they're not going to know they're not going to be able to help you or potentially be one of your clients and so i really recommend that no matter what you do whether you're doing bookkeeper training school or not that you 
put yourself out there. You know, it's, it's funny because the first post in the, uh, in the pre-launch marketing plan is just a post that says, Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm, I started a bookkeeper training program and I'm going to become a bookkeeper. And, uh, this is when I think I'll be done. And I'm just so excited. And people are so afraid to post that because of the reactions that they'll get. And what I'm finding is with the vast majority of our students, people are like, oh my God, that's so exciting. Oh my God, that's great. And then a bunch of our students have actually gotten people who messed them behind the scenes and say, hey, when are you gonna be ready? Because I'm gonna need a bookkeeper. Or I know this person that just said they need a bookkeeper. And so you're letting your your network work for you. Um, and so, you know, and I would do, if you're at, you know, if you've got a LinkedIn profile and you're connected to people on LinkedIn, post it over there too. You know, it doesn't just have to be Facebook. Um, all of the things in the pre-launch marketing plan, you can also, um, you know, you can also post in, um, in LinkedIn. You know, there's one post where I actually ask you on Facebook um, to, you know, ask people what their, um, you know, what their link is on LinkedIn so you can connect with them on LinkedIn. Um, if you're posting it on, uh, if you're posting it on, uh, LinkedIn, then I would do it the other way around. Like, Hey, do you have a page on Facebook that I could follow, you know, or what other social media platforms are you on just to, to make more connections with people? Um, but if, you know, go back to, you miss 100% of the opportunities you do not seek out. Okay. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be hard, but you've got to let people know that your business exists and it's out there. Um, yeah, I can't tell you how many of my friends have side hustles that I didn't know about because they never tell anybody. So please, 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 if you want to grow your business in 2021, you have to start letting people know that it exists. Okay. You have to start posting about it. And not just on your page, okay? Because yes, I love the Facebook pages and I tell everybody in Bookkeeper Training School to set up their page, you know, but you also have to talk about in real life, right? Because it's part of your life. You know, we talk about our kids, we talk about our significant others, we talk about our pets, you know, we might talk about work if we work for somebody else, but when we work for ourselves, we never talk about it. And so let this be the year that you open up your discussion of what you do and the work that you do, because you know what, you're doing really, really good work, whether you're a bookkeeper or you're a virtual assistant or you're a hairstylist or whatever your business is. And I know there's a wide variety of business people who follow this page. Um, whatever you do, talk about it, tell people about it. Um, if you post about your business this week, okay. Um, tag me, tag me in the comments and I will come support your post. Um, because I love supporting other small business owners in what they're doing. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. If you are watching and you are a member of Bookkeeper Training School and the Empower Bookkeeper Network, don't forget our live call. It's the last live call for January. Um, we'll see you guys at two o'clock Eastern time. If you're not a member of Bookkeeper Training School and you're interested in joining, um, you can go to bookkeepertrainingschool.com. Okay. And, um, enjoy our free training. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Amanda, thank you so much. I love supporting you guys. It is awesome. It is so, so much fun. All right. Have a great day. Take care and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.